Welcome to the Tarantula Collective. My name is Richard, and I think most of us started out keeping only one tarantula. But it wasn't long until that turned into four or five, maybe 10 or 20. And for some strange people like me, we have over 100 tarantulas. But there's always that age-old question. If you could only keep one tarantula, which species would it be? Well, I sat down with some of the top tarantula YouTubers and asked them just that. And their answers may surprise you. If you could only keep one tarantula, <laughs> what species would it be? But you already know that answer. <laughs> because on the panel that we had like 30 minutes ago, yeah. we gave the same answer. Right. Yeah. It's but the people the, watching, they weren't the here. green bottle blue. My it dude. is the, the ultimate. I mean, it's not the ultimate tarantula, but if I really had to keep only one, it would be that one. Because first of all, it looks almost the coolest out of all tarantulas because it is blue and then the abdomen is orange so the combination is like really contrasty but it fits so good and then there's uh, the fact that they web a lot and they grow pretty fast they basically always eat and the fact that they change their appearance when they are sling they look completely different than from when they are adult so that is also one cool aspect so and the, I, I think i already said but they web their entire enclosure and that is something that i really like i like to see webbed enclosures yeah me too <laughs> <laughs> I always refer back to the Pacillotheria suffusca highland because that's just one of the most beautiful species in my opinion. I know there's tons and tons of other ones, but I, just those beautiful striking colors on that black background just really does it for me. So I, I love mine. Um, I have a few, of course, because I had some holdbacks from when I bred her. So yeah, it's that, that would probably be the one that I would keep. Nice, that's an interesting answer. I wasn't expecting that species. <laughs> <laughs> They keep one tarantula, what would it be? That's not a fair question. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know. <laughs> it's rich. I just think. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. There are times where I'm like, I can't keep. If it had to be something, it wouldn't be a new world because I, I love my new worlds and like I, I'm not a big fan of eradicating hairs, but because I love them, I, I like I still keep them. I do love my old world tarantulas. I I think, man, that's, it's such a hard question because there's just so many. It might be, and not because it's like super large as a spider, but it, it might be a Theraphosa sturmy. I, I think they're just a really cool animal. Actually, you know what? I take that back. A geniculata, the Acanthoscura geniculata. I love the striking coloration, the banding on their legs. I love that they make such a good display animal. They're always out in the open. And of course, as I expressed prior to this, the, the feeding, watching them eat. They're an animal that will just go crazy at anything you feed to them. So they're so fun and they have a good growth rate. They can be skittish and defensive, but it's not terribly awful. Like, you know, you look at Nandu's funny and they're kicking hairs at you, right? But, Acanthoscuri I find is a little less skittish, at least in my own experience. So I think that's an animal. I love the size they get to, the, the vibrancy, everything, like probably that. I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity. From photography and illustration to graphic designs, creating videos for YouTube, and much more, you can find classes that will match your goals and interests. I am currently taking a class by Marquez Brownlee called YouTube Success, Script, Shoot, and Edit with MKBHD. And it has taught me a lot about researching and writing scripts that will create value for the viewers and provide useful information so I can hopefully make the best videos I can. It is nice because they are ad-free and there are new classes launched every week, so there's always something new to learn. If you're interested in starting a YouTube channel or growing your existing channel, or maybe you just want to discover new ways to develop your creativity, I can help you out. The first 1,000 people to use the link on my description box will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare so you can explore and develop new skills and fall back in love with learning. Thanks again Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the list.
And if you could only keep one tarantula, which species would it be? Grandma stole a pulchra, hands down. I mean, they're just my favorite. They're big, cute, black, fluffy. Usually they'll tolerate handling. They're out a lot. They're not gonna burrow and disappear usually for days. Uh, they're the best tarantula. Don't listen to anybody else. <laughs>